What do you do to nourish your creative side? Hi, it's Val Gilman, Taproot Arts and Insight. I am out here in the rainy, freezing rain morning. Most people would say, ah, I don't want to go out in this, but I have to say it is so beautiful. It is so beautiful and it slows me down. It's hard to walk in this stuff. So um, what I discover is that I am seeing in a way that I don't always allow myself. I usually walk these woods with purpose and with direction and I'm moving my body and trying to, you know, get healthy and feel good and also my mind is going. All of this is very good. I, I usually, it's a very creative walk for me because I let my mind wander. But today I'm moving much more slowly and I'm looking. And I, you know, how many times as an artist do you forget that your job is to see the world, is to see it. And, um, you know, so I'm looking at the way a tree has a line that goes just this way and that way and has this particular quality of, of um, movement that is just so beautiful to me, so moving to me. It's the fodder, it's the material of my work. And of course I need to be out here looking and absorbing and being in awe of the beauty. Uh, so I wonder, as an artist, what do you do that feeds, nourishes your artist self? Oh, what do you do that, that gives you more visual information that you can play with or that, that reminds you of what is so exquisite? Each of us sees in a very different way um, because of who we are and uh, you gotta feed it. You gotta feed it and then you gotta feed it back to us. That's, that's our job. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Enjoy whatever weather is happening for you. And um, yeah, maybe, maybe your thing isn't going outside, but if it is, oh, enjoy whatever is happening out there. Go out in it. That's my, that's my thing. What is your thing? Talk to you later.